An animal is labelled endangered when it's at risk of dying off and becoming extinct. If a species is extinct, this means it no longer exists anywhere in the world. For example, the thylacine, otherwise known as the Tasmanian tiger, is considered extinct and has not been seen since the 1930s. Scientists are constantly researching and assessing different plants and animals. And if a species' numbers are decreasing, this might mean that it is becoming extinct. There are three different ways to group animals whose numbers are decreasing. Critically endangered, endangered and vulnerable. Critically endangered indicates that a species faces a high chance of becoming extinct in the near future. One animal species that is currently labelled as critically endangered is the Sumatran tiger. Found on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, there are currently between 100 and 400 tigers left in the wild. They are not safe, despite conservation efforts, as many tigers are killed by poachers every year. Endangered means that a plant or species is at risk of becoming extinct. Some species that are listed have not been spotted in 50 years. The grey nurse shark is a large shark inhabiting coastal waters worldwide and is listed as endangered on Queensland's Nature Conservation Act 1992. Vulnerable means that a species is steadily losing numbers and if conditions do not change, it will become endangered. The dugong is a marine mammal which is found in the warm waters of the north coast of Australia and is currently classified as vulnerable. Somewhere between 50 and 100 plant and animal species become extinct every day. There are two reasons why a plant or animal species becomes endangered. The first is a loss of habitat. This is when the environment is changed or altered and the plants or animals struggle to adapt to the change in conditions. These changes can be man-made. One way humans alter the environment is by building things such as towns, cities and mines. The human population of the world is increasing at a rapid rate and with more houses, apartments, buildings and space needed, forests may be cleared to create more places for people to live. The killing of trees would lead to some species of insects, birds, possums, snakes and lizards having nowhere to live. If these species were unable to adapt to the new changes forced upon them, they could potentially become endangered. Natural changes to the environment can also be damaging. Natural disasters such as volcanoes, cyclones, bushfires and hailstorms can damage the ecosystem and change the dynamics of an area. When a bushfire rips through an area, animals are killed and plants destroyed. A gradual change in climate can also lead to an animal and plant species becoming endangered. If the species cannot move to a place with a similar climate, they will eventually become extinct. The lemur is an example of a species that is struggling to cope with climate change. Being a primate that is found in tropical ecosystems, as the average rainfall of the planet is decreasing, the lemur is finding it difficult to adapt to the drier conditions. The introduction of a foreign species can also lead to animal and plant species becoming endangered. A foreign species is a plant or animal that has been introduced by people into a new environment to which it does not belong.
One example is the explosion in the rabbit population on Macquarie Island, which is home to endangered penguins and albatrosses. The rabbits, which were introduced by sealers in the 1870s, but until recently have been kept in check by cats, have destroyed vegetation holding the land together, causing dangerous landslides. It is very important to protect and save species that are endangered. No matter how small or insignificant a species appears, every living thing plays a crucial role in the environment. It's important to protect and monitor endangered species so that we can continue to live harmoniously with nature. If we don't take careful steps to look after endangered species, we may find the environment will become damaged beyond repair. <laughs>